Hey YouTube, this is Codes for You, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, use the Pokemon API, um, which can be found here at pokeapi.co, um, to grab and create your own sort of Pokedex, if you will. All right, so for this, you'll need to make sure that you have an Apache server set up with PHP support or some way of executing PHP scripts on your machine. Uh, so, the, for the example, I will only show how to process the first few Pokemon from the API, and I'll tell you how to do the rest yourself. Um, it's not that hard, it's literally just changing a couple of things. So, right, first thing we're going to want to do is uh, head on here to our folder where we store all our files, and we're going to want to go and put in... Uh, a new file called index.php. So once we've got index.php up, um, we're going to want to create our PHP tag because we're going to use PHP to get the information from the Pokey API. Um, and then we're going to want to connect to the Pokey API. So if we get the base URL, which is this. Okay, we make a variable called base and put that in. Um, we're only going to get Pokemon for this, so I'm going to put Pokemon at the end, and that's that. Okay, so obviously we could check our page now. Uh, so local host Pokemon. It doesn't do anything because it's literally just a variable. Um, and then we're going to want to get the contents of that page, but we're also going to want to do it for an ID. So we're going to put in ID equals, so Pokemon ID 1, so that'll be Bulbasaur, hopefully. Um, and then to get the content of the page, we're going to create a new one called data, and we're going to go file, get contents. What this will do is it will get the contents of a file, even if it's hosted on a on a website, so uh, the Pokey API is hosting the website, and we're going to want to get the uh, data from this URL. So we can pay. We can put in the URL. We can put base, and then we can append on to the end ID, and then just to make sure that it doesn't cause any errors, we'll add the extra forward slash because that's what it tells us to do here, like that. Okay. So, now we've got that, we can, obviously, we can run the page, but again, it won't do anything, it'll just take a bit longer to load, because it's got to process all the data, download it, and store it, and yeah, it's loaded, but there's nothing there. So, we can now, we know that all of it's stored in JSON, so it's a RESTful API. Um, so all the data is stored in JSON, so we can decode it and make it into a PHP object. So what we'll do now is we'll call it Pokemon equals JSON decode. What we're going to do is we're going to use this JSON decode function, which is built into PHP by default, and put in our data, which is there. So again, we can save it and we can run it again, but it's not going to make any difference because we're still not outputting anything to the screen. So if we want to know what variables there are in the Pokemon object, we can just go var dump. Okay, and we can var dump the Pokemon object. And now if we re reload the page, it will come up and it will look really, really messy. So, there. So, I mean, you can see it's got the ID, and that's Pokemon ID, and that's one. It's an integer, it's one. You got the name, which is a string, it's nine length, and it's Bulbasaur, and then you got the base experience, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, I'm literally just going to output the name of each Pokemon onto the screen. It's a bit of a waste of such a big object, but. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial. You can go through it yourself and edit it, edit it to how you like afterwards. So we're going to want to print. Uh, so we'll echo or echo 
out the Pokemon and because it's an object we use the little dash and arrow to say of the Pokemon object we want this and we're going to say name because we want to output the name so if I save that again and refresh the page hopefully it should output Bulbasaur if everything's done right yeah excellent so now what we can do is we can put it in a loop um, and what we're putting it in a loop will do is mean we can get um, a load of different Pokemon without having to input the ID manually okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this ID thing and we're gonna make a for loop so for ID equals one which means starting at the ID one and whilst ID is less than three because I don't want to get the first two Pokemon because else it'll slow down and this is just it's supposed to be a quick tutorial so then we put ID plus plus which means after every loop it's going to add one to the ID okay so because of how we did this we can literally grab it paste it in here see it doesn't look as pretty at the moment okay and I'm going to add uh, append br to the end of it because uh, else it'll look a bit too hard to read on the screen it'll just be all the Pokemon names stuck together so that's that okay and if we load this now again it'll take a bit longer but um, if you store it to a database then you can access the database and it will be much better in the long run I guess um, so yeah as you can see we've got Bulbasaur and Ivysaur and if we check the Pokey API and see what they return with Pokemon 1 it's all this so you can see we did the name we can then take the height as well we can take is default we can take order we can take weight we can take any of these and if you're taking something like the abilities you can uh, have to do dash abilities and then dash again or no it's an array isn't it so you'll have to take the uh, array and do all this and it's yeah but you can do all that yourselves um, pretty simple to do and uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial this is supposed to be just an update of the old one that's on this channel um, one of the first of many to get the channel new and up, up again yeah because it's been down for a while I haven't posted anything again this is codes for you um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video like subs subscribe and post comments if you need anything uh, also don't forget to check out our new website codesforyou.uk forward slash blog and as you can see I've already wrote out the tutorial um, on how to do it but it's just for people who don't want to read and uh, yeah like rate and subscribe thanks